Vegas has it all. You know, they've got shows, they've got gambling, they've got fights. I mean, there's everything you could possibly want or need to have a good time is here. You know, people come here from around the world, not just the United States. I mean, people come here from everywhere. And, you know, this city, the reputation that this city is built for it is amazing. We're on our way to a possible occupied stolen vehicle. It's reference a call. Can you repeat the plate of that Mercedes? It's reference a call of an individual who went into a dry cleaner and left the keys in his vehicle running. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Right this is it, this is it. Don't move! Hands up! Hands up on the roof! Hands up on the roof! Close that. Close. Okay. Don't move! Stop talking! Hands up on the roof! Don't fence us! Don't do anything you shouldn't. Open the vehicle, step out. Turn around. Don't fence Hands up! Us. Get on the ground! Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Thank you very much. Face away from my voice. Face away. Step back. Keep coming. Hey, get inside over there. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Step back. Anyone? Who's got the trunk? Sir, you put that way too tight. I'll fix him in a minute. OK. Roll on your side. Go ahead. Take that guy. Thank you. Thanks, yeah, I got guys. Him. You got the handcuffs pretty tight, though. No, we'll fix that in a second. I How just, did you end up in this car? Let's drop me off right here. Who for, dropped you off? My friend. Okay, your friend dropped yeah. you off right here. Then what? It's a nice car, so I sat in the driver's seat, and it's a nice car. So how did you? I get... I wasn't taking off with the car or nothing. How did you get in it though? What do you mean how? It how was you... already on. It was like right there. You know what I mean? You know what I'm? You're telling me the car was sitting there just running? I'm telling you, dude. Now's your chance, man. If you're cool with me now, I'm gonna be cool with you when I'm writing up these reports. I was just driving it down, down over here, whatever. But where did you I get didn't it steal, from? I didn't okay. steal the where, car. Okay, the witness will tell you right now. Okay, then where did you okay, get there. it from? I got, I'm not, like, I got it from. I don't need a name. If you don't want to give a name, don't give a name. But okay. tell me, who, did you get it from a friend or what? I was just asked to pick up some keys and from the car. You were asked to pick this car up. Yeah. Where'd you pick it up at? Um, I'm not sure what the street is. It's next to a 7-Eleven or something like that. OK, so you went and it's you a picked a car. They told know. you it was a hot car, yeah. OK, which we all know is stolen. I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. OK, they told you to pick up the stolen car. How much was he going to give you for picking the car up and picking this it one? over here? How much? Just 150. 150 bucks just to come pick it up and bring it over here? Not or bring exactly it to where, over here. Where yeah. exactly were you supposed to drop? Take Tuscany. It. Tuscany? OK. I don't know. Or right here. I didn't know it was a big deal like this, you know? I, I didn't know it was. I didn't see it this way. Five two, five two. I just saw, like, you know, Thanks driving a, a car and taking okay. it somewhere and but making you, 150. Right, but you knew it was stolen. Yeah, you could say that, of course. It's a Mercedes. But, so it's these hot. guys, it's right, it's so these guys here didn't know that it was stolen? I know. Okay, the owner of the vehicle is on his way here. He's coming in a cab from his home. Uh, he should be here momentarily, and he'll take possession of the car. No. Okay, you guys. No. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Appreciate it. How you doing today, sir? <coughs> Stand right there. How am I doing? You don't want to stole my car. You want to know how I'm doing? I didn't steal your car, sir. I didn't take your car, though. You know what I mean? Like, I was just asked to pick it up, so I was trying to. Guys, one here. I cut your off for you. I was trying to. I was trying to win 150, so you know what I mean? I'm being honest with you, and. That away from me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I don't. I don't know, sir. Excuse me. Not him. It's his car. Okay. Well, I'd like to apologize to you, you know, like, I didn't, I didn't even know when your car was stolen or, you know, you should be angry, you should be mad, you should not want to talk to me, you know? Right, I was just trying to make 150, so. Yeah. You need 150 that bad, I'd give you a No, what I'm trying to tell you, sir, they just told me to pick it up and take it somewhere, sir. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't ask for that much that might, uh, details. Oh, no, but you could, yeah, you should be mad. All right, well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate hey, it. No problem, Can't sir. Can't buy you guys dinner? No, no dinner. Okay, well, we appreciate your kudos. Right. Take care. No, no problem. We're going to go to the residence of the person whose name was on the prescription pill bottle. He's really not a suspect, so we're going to just talk to him and find out what he knows. We work with the Homicide Division. And your pills come up in a bar robbery that ended up in a homicide. 
And I, yesterday, I understand you went and had a prescription filled. Yeah, I had a prescription filled. At CVS filled. across the street. C CVS across the street. Okay, That's correct. Tell me what happened after that. I was going to go like downtown and skate around and stuff. Some guys hit me up for some money. I tell them, dude, I don't have any, I don't have any money. I got a dollar here, you know. At that point in time, he went and sucker punched me, you know, with it like, like that. On your head? Right. With his fist? Yeah. What happened after he hit you? After I hit me, I was just like kind of dazed and upset and confused and I called my mom and she picked me up. Okay, your mom actually picked you up at 4 a.m. Oh, okay, this I didn't morning. know that let, let me just explain something to you. I ha I've been on this job for a long time, mm -hmm. okay? I don't believe your story. I don't believe it. You, you can't get knocked out for that length of time with the small amount of head trauma that you have. Mom! What I'm asking we just, you... We just need to make sure... No, that I, I, I never... She like says that, said. that my story is... I, I just don't believe it. My whole bottom line is these two guys that you met, I mean, you got you got picked up at four, and I've got a older gentleman that's been murdered right in that time frame. Right in that time frame, okay? Mm -hmm. That means that the people who you are talking about probably walked right over to that bar and murdered this guy. Yeah, I didn't do anything, so there's, there's no way you're going to trace me to anything. I just got a murder, me? No, but your pills that's are at the murder side is what I'm saying. So what I need from you is your total brutal honesty about what happened last night. I gave you my total brutal honesty of what happened last night okay. with those guys. All right, all I have to say is that if somewhere down the road I find somebody who tells me a different story about how those pills got in somebody's hand, call mom again? No, call my attorney. Oh, please. Now you're a suspect. Oh, if you're going to call an now, attorney. Now I'm a suspect. No, it's just the way you talk to me. I'm going to step outside. It's very rude. You go right ahead. It's really important because we, we just want to find the person who killed this man. That's okay, all. I want, I want you to find him. Yeah. That's all we want. Got the truth. Yeah. Did he describe tattoos to you? Yes. Describe Red, tattoos. blue, and black lightning bolts on the outer right forearm. Never okay. said his name. They only said he was from Virginia Beach. They stayed in the room talking for a couple hours or thereabouts. The white guy wanted to go get something to eat. So Joseph said, here, you can take my credit card. The white guy disappeared for a period of time with Joseph's credit card, came back with hot dogs and beer. And the black guy left. Joseph passed out on the bed, woke up sometime later, hours perhaps later, and discovered the property missing from him, his jewelry and his cell phone and the skateboard. Called his mom, waited for his mom to pick him up. His mom picked him up, and that's it. Um, did, does is he have access, or does he have a way to call and find out exactly what store that credit card was used, or does he know exactly where that credit card was used? Um, he doesn't know where it was used, um, but that's something we can do. So the good cop, bad cop thing worked again. I'll take care of the credit card tomorrow yeah. morning. Um, and as long as we can talk to a live person, we can find out who used a credit card and if we've got video. And that's what's important is if we get video of um, this white guy, crazy Randy, whoever, using it, at least we'll have a picture of him and what he looks like. The significance of an autopsy and investigation is basically the body is a piece of evidence. Sad as that sounds, it's going to tell us how he died and they're going to give us a cause of death, which is going to be homicide. He's got some little abrasions on the back on the of, side his of his left I leg. I saw those at the... He has some pretty severe bruising on both hands. Like, he punched somebody back to defend himself, but, I mean, it was more than just a blow or two to the head. It was a struggle. He took a massive beating. <sighs> Shame. Poor guy. Spray it off. Spray it off. I found out this morning where the card was used. Yeah, grab a... Uh, and I'm going to go meet the manager at 1130. All right. Okay. And look at the surveillance video. It's, uh... Every month? Yes, it right is. Right there by the hotel. Right there by it.